Here we are, there's a new year, and there's plenty of uncertainty out there. That's not anything new for financial markets. What is new this year is that we have extreme, diametrically opposed views among investors and participants alike. From today's point of view, many investors are chasing the sustainable Trumpflation treasure trail. We believe they are just chasing an idea, fool's gold, simply too good to be true. Let's give a little bit of context. Momentum investors are clearly happy because the deflationary goals of the past have disappeared. Long-term yields in the US have moved up some 0.8% over the last weeks. And there's no fear anymore out there that the US either will move in a recession or even in a slowdown. There are many reasons for this. What is the most important is that the market anticipates a fiscal stimuli by the Trump-led administration. We expect something like 5,000 billion in fiscal stimulation over the next 10 years. Now this is nearly 50% of the monetary stimulus provided jointly by the European Central Bank, by the Bank of Japan and by the Fed. This is only half of the equation because Wall Street very much likes that deregulation should be given to financial institutions. So we might ask ourselves if the heydays are back simply because financial institutions are able to increase their profitability by tremendous leverage. Now, we are not running along with this extreme positivism. We believe that there are many elements of the Trump agenda which will be good for equities and bad for bonds. However, as renowned investor Bill Gross says, investors need to consider also the anti-globalization ideas of Trump which will clearly affect trade and cut down corporate profits. The strengthening dollar is not really helping. We will see that especially the US globalized companies, the tech stocks will suffer. So Bill Gross again gives a hint here, increase your cash and your cash alike positions. The near-term momentum clearly favors higher yields. We hear a lot of whispers of reducing bonds and of channeling that money into riskier assets. Now, it is interesting to understand that despite increases in rates, we have not seen that equities corrected. In contrary, equities digested very well this increase in rates. And that's exactly why we believe it is so easy to follow this consensus. Here's the clincher. We've never made money in a sustainable way by following the consensus. And that's exactly why it might be prudent at this stage to be slightly contrarian and investing into emerging markets and European assets. I would even go so far to invest into long-term treasuries, US treasuries, at a level of 2.7, 2.8%. Clearly, there are reasons that we might be wrong. The Trump administration might deliver a GDP of 3% for the next couple of years. We will also look like fools if the momentum in the US dollar and in higher yields continues. However, we have decided not to close our eyes and to look also at the ideas of anti-globalization. Clearly, we need to look at the full picture. 